just play the damn thing. First things first, I want to give a shout out to my man Vincent De La Rosa for hooking me up with these two awesome bags of coffee. My wife and I are big, big coffee drinkers, and we have discovered that the best coffee in the world seems to come from Central and South America. And my man Vincent De La Rosa has been an awesome hookup for acquiring said coffee from Central and South America here over the last couple of uh, last couple of years. Uh, and uh, most recently, he sent these along. You know, I, I, I paid for it, of course, but uh, but I wouldn't have been able to get a hold of it, and you know, any other way that I'm aware of, without his help. So. Uh, and he's been kind enough to do, th to, uh, do that and ship it my way when uh, when he gets them. So thank you very much. And that also made for an excellent uh, Christmas present to Mrs. Jackson. Now, let's get to some comments, shall we? You know what's worse than any of these amps? Listening to your double chins bounce off of your neck while you flap your jaw. Just because people in a boring state makes an amplifier doesn't mean they don't know how to build an amplifier. You know where a majority of your food comes from, big boy? Nebraska. And we've got technology that would blow your mind. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not butthurt but nice generic little comeback what's it like to be so worthless that you do a youtube channel and think your opinion matters you didn't even give an example of what the amps sound like how come your name is not on the front of an amplifier <laughs> <laughs> okay i was wrong but this is why i'm a crybaby should be the title of this just because the one example you agree with aren't as available in the U.S. doesn't make you any less wrong. There are tons of examples outside your narrow backyard plot. Read a book. Okay. You're the one who made a pointless video about headstock shape in which you were proven wrong and yet still tried to save face rather than actually admit you were wrong, all while hiding behind your clickbait in hopes it said it all so you wouldn't have to. You were wrong. People are wrong from time to time. But rather than this half-assed, I was kind of wrong video, how about you cop to it like a, like a man, learn from it, and move on? Is it really that hard? Or maybe do proper research before opening your big yap and making a full video about being wrong? Okay. Next time you do a review, make sure you know what the heck you're talking about. In regards to the custom amps, your opinion doesn't mean anything because it's not backed by fact. <laughs> Uh, I uh, okay. I don't know why this you know the no, my worst amps video was, you know started you know taking off again and and it's uh, you know thank you all very much for uh, you know for all the butt hurt that that video has uh, uh, has attracted recently because that took that video now over a million views so thank you very much for that you know in regards to this guy this is one of those dudes that argues about politics all the time and claims that uh, you know he's arguing based on fact yet yet shares absolutely no evidence or anything to back up his argument. <laughs> and also, you know, a best of video, a worst of video, if you think that's actually a review, you're a dumb shit. Okay? <laughs> I make those videos strictly for a laugh. They're there for entertainment purposes only. If you take anything seriously in any of them, that says a hell of a lot more about you than it ever will about me. Dipshit. So this is pointless. Opinion only review here. You can make any of these amps dialed. No doubt some are more tricky than others. God, this is absolutely the worst review I've ever heard, but it's specifically you. Stop talking shit, play the amps, or don't review. Your fake redneck accent sucks as well. I will let you pick any amp that you listed and make you realize tone can happen. I'll record my next album with any of them. I love how pull no punches, say it like it is, folks like yourself are so undeservedly pompous. Univox amp I've used in studio. And it did exactly what the artist needed. Not all is for all, but you don't say that. Just blanket dissing. I'm sure you'll reveal as this, as I'm sure you do anything controversial. Best of luck. Outro sounds hellish, F FYI. Good day, sir. <laughs> These CCR fanboys are absolutely. You know, have, uh, this is another one that's. I, I I don't know where these guys all start. These people all started coming out of the woodwork here over the last month or so. Uh, but you know, for some reason, there's there's a big run on custom tuck and roll amps, uh, and they all hate me for it now, which I think is absolutely hilarious because you know. Well, frankly, all I did is say say that they suck and that they weren't built well and that they shocked the shit out of me, uh, more on more than one occasion. More than one example of them, by the way. But the CCR fanboys absolutely, you know, will absolutely have none of that. <laughs> you want to have some fun with them? Next time, ask a CCR fanboy how many other bands that they know of that, uh, that were really well known for using custom tuck and rolls. <laughs>
Oh, and by the way, John Fogarty was also known for uh, actually recording with uh, Fenders in the studio. A little off topic, what is your favorite tuner pedal? I have a cork pitch black, but I was thinking of either a Peterson or a TC Electronic. Your thoughts, Robert? Hey, finally, a, a regular normal comment. Uh, you, <laughs> uh, thank you very much. You might be able to just barely see it on the wall there behind me. Uh, that is my original. That was the first generation TC Electronic Polytune. Uh, I bought that basically the week that it came out and uh, still use it, you know, today when I, you know, on the occasion that I actually put together a pedal board and need a pedal tuner. That's the one that I grabbed. Yeah, and all the all the various different versions of the Polytune that have come out since since then, I think, are equally, uh, you know, are equally equally as great. And there's uh, even been other pedal companies that have since designed their tuner pedals to be similar to, uh, you know, to what the Polytune design is, you know, uh, well, at, least, at least in function. Uh, I've used the I've used the Pitch Black tuners before, and they're okay. You know, I mean, they're they're a, you know, they're pretty affordable tuner pedal you know i didn't find them to be as accurate as the polytunes uh, a lot of times i didn't find them to be anywhere near as accurate but the truth is if i were going to buy a, a, a tuner pedal today no question it would be the peterson strobo stomp that thing is pretty awesome uh you know i think probably the biggest advantage that pedal has over any of the others is that's what peterson does peterson makes tuners that's what they make. They don't make pedals. They don't make effects. They don't make rack gear. That you know, uh, I mean, you know, they have versions of all of those things. But you know, everything that they make that are they make tuners, and they're by far the most accurate tuners on the planet. And what's cool about the Strobo Stomp is it's not one of their five hundred thousand dollar models. You know, they're what are they, hundred forty bucks or something like that. So, so if I were going to buy a pedal tuner right now, it would it, that's the one it would be. Peterson Strobo Stomp, dude. Poly tuners are still great. But the Strobo Stomp, I think, has surpassed it. Good luck, man. Comment down, uh, comment on another video. Let me know which one you bought. I appreciate what you're doing here, but a lot of those examples were not accurate. Love Gun, for example, does not do that G to F sharp thing. It goes G, A, G, D, C. He does power chords a little different. He uses more than one position. I'll leave it at that. Not trying to bash, just pointing out lesson videos should be accurate for the best effect. There are so many more techniques that define his playing that were missed. The unison bend licks do way more than what you did. That is only one small lick, open string pull-offs, overbends, the hybrid major chromatic licks, the trill method of going through scales, etc. Okay, this is on a video that I did years ago, like five or six years ago, and uh, you know, on a, it was a you know how to play like Ace Frehley. You know, while I certainly am not known for my instructional videos, the first thing that came to my mind when I read this comment was the old joke. How many guitar players does it take to change a light bulb? I can't believe I watched this to the end. It just seems like you don't know how it works. <laughs> I swear it kills me. I, I the the I am always amazed at how many guitar players out there can watch one of my ridiculous videos and not know that it's a fucking joke. <laughs> they actually think that I'm that that it's meant to be taken seriously. I, I seriously don't know, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's something about my personality that I'm not aware of. You know, something, long, something like that. I don't know. But, but God damn, there seems to be a lot of dumbass guitar players out there. <laughs> this is actually why your channel is awesome. Well, one of many reasons, actually. You actually do reviews and say if something sucks. Most others do paid product demos and call them reviews. Yeah, you know, there's a, there's a couple of things here, and I've I've addressed this in, you know a number of times in the past. I mean, I I with when it comes to gear demos, I generally try to stick to the demo side of things. You know, in other words, this is what the product does. This is what it excels at. This is what it sounds like. Period. End. Yeah, you know, I generally don't get into the review stuff all that much. You know, with you know, which is by the way, you know, it does this really well, but it doesn't do this. I wish it had this on it instead of this you know, et cetera, et cetera, you know, they really need to work on it. You know, I generally try to stay away from, you know, from, uh, you know, putting my, opi my, my opinions on that stuff, unless it's something that's just absolutely glaring. And in the instance of the One Me M2 wireless guitar system that uh, this is in reference to, there was a number of glaring problems with that particular product. And... You know, I just, it's, it's, it would just flat out be irresponsible of me not to mention them. You know, I, I tell every vendor I'm, that I work with, you know, I won't lie to my audience, period. To be fair, there's nothing wrong with paid product demos either. 
you know, I mean, that's especially nowadays, that's how companies market their products, not just in our industry, every industry, you know, I mean, there's, you know, I was shopping for a new, for a new weed eater uh, a couple of years ago. And, you know, I went to YouTube to go check out some demos and product reviews and see what people were saying about them, you know, and that's how I, that's how I made my decision. You know, I mean, you know, people taking the, you know, taking time and effort to produce a video, uh, which I've, again, I've, said uh, numerous times in the past there's a lot of work that goes into making these videos uh anybody that's uh, you know that puts time and effort into that deserves to be paid especially if it's a video sponsored by the brand in question you know nobody's going to pay me for a pedal demo that i bought with my own money you know <laughs> uh, and i've done plenty of those you know companies sending me pedals you know pedals in particular guitars and amps are a little bit different but uh you know guitars and you know companies sending me sending me pedals in particular i don't typically do very many of those for free anymore yeah that's, that's how this works that's how we earn a living i have watched this channel off and on over the years and i get the feeling that no company would want mr jackson to review their product is it possible that he just says a company asked him to do a review so it looks like this is a bigger channel with more sway well way to go sherlock holmes you figured me out that's what I do. I tell my audience that a particular video is a sponsored video just to make you, the viewers, think that my channel is bigger than it is, even though it tells you exactly how many subscribers that I have right underneath the screen. And also, in this particular case, how I posted direct screenshots with you of the, my communication with the company in question. Yep. All, all because I want people to think my channel is bigger than it really is. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's why I'm here. This, this has got to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Uh, I don't know how many, anybody that's been a regular viewer of this channel for any length of time can tell you that I, nobody has been more upfront about, you know, me and, and my, my audience and my reach being nowhere near that of the larger channels like Ola and Pete Thorne and Fluff and, you know, so, and, you know, some of those guys, uh, you know, and I don't, I'm certainly not going to pretend like it, like that's the case either. You know, what, what good does that do anybody? To clarify, you said your opinion is not for sale. Wrong, sir. Your opinion is clearly for sale. It is your endorsement that is not for sale. If you charge a company to review their product, you are indeed selling your opinion. Don't kid yourself or try to kid us, please. Okay, maybe I was wrong. This is the stupidest thing that I've read yet today. Maybe you don't understand what is meant by my opinion is not for sale. That means that if a company is going to send me along a shitty product, I am under no obligation to them to not tell my audience that this particular product is in fact shitty. None. Zero. None whatsoever. You know, but if I do happen to say that a product is shitty, that is in fact my opinion. No company anywhere has ever paid me for my opinion. They pay me for, you know, they pay me for the demo, they pay me for the video production and all, all the everything that goes along with it. They do not pay me for my opinion. My opinion is not for sale. As for my endorsement being for sale, well, number one, there's, I've never signed an endorsement deal of any kind in my life. I've only been paid to demo products, you know. But again, if I, you know, if if I happen to really, really like a product and stand behind it, like this guitar, for example, yeah, I may repeat myself a time or two or ten because I happen to like the, I happen to like that guitar or the pedal or amp or whatever it may be. This is an incompetent video. Okay. I've never heard of most of these, and I was thankful for that. Thanks for ruining it for me. You're welcome. I have the same one running on my 65-inch flat screen QLED 4K. I was floored that it runs so well. I'm curious if it would work as a mini studio in DAW. Well, okay, well, first of all, you know the, the fact that you're running your uh, desktop computer through a 65-inch 4K TV is... Uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm in, in, in even a little bit jealous. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, as far as, you know, this, this obviously was in response to the, uh, the, the video on the B-Link uh, mini PC that I did several months back. And, and I'm, you know, I've, I've been using mine for several months now, and I'm still really, really impressed with it. You know, I said in that video, and I'll repeat it, you know, it, it runs a hell of a lot more efficiently uh, and smoothly than my other, you know, big PC that has, you know, most of the specs are the same, but this one's got a, got a slower processor but it runs way better than this thing with the amd processor and it does i guess they both have amds in them but i built this one myself and paid three times to do it this thing cost me about you know, well over fifteen hundred dollars to build you know versus that one that i bought brand new right out of the box is about four hundred give or take 
So yeah, man, I'm I'm a pretty firm believer in mini PCs these days. It was that was a great investment, and next time I buy a computer, that's probably what it's going to be. So uh, you know, and a lot of it, I guess, is going to also depend on the software that you're using, the plugins, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, as far as whether or not it's powerful enough to run as a DAW, it's worked great for me. If they're giving away a guitar, someone is, is suckling someone. I don't know what suckling means, but uh, I'm assuming maybe it was a typo and you mean sucking. Uh, also, not true. No company anywhere, any place is given a, you know, is given a content creator on YouTube uh, a guitar or a pedal or an amp or anything like that away for free. Period. There is no, there is no free. Even free ain't free. I've said it over and over and over again. You commented on the video about Zager guitars, so I mean, I'm assuming that you are referring to this here Zager acoustic guitars. Now, you might notice that I have it sitting here on a stand uh, just behind me, and the reason for that is because that's part of the agreement that I have with them. You know, is that it would be vis it would be visible, in, you know, in some capacity uh, behind me, and more videos than just the video that I actually demoed it in. No company's given away a free guitar to anybody. Why? Because it would be absolutely stupid for them to do so. You know, they might as well light, you know, in this case, 1400 bucks on fire. You know, they are not doing it if they're not getting some kind of return. I'm pretty good friends with Justin at Two Notes Engineering. He and I have known each other for years. He used to buy from me when I was, uh, you know, when I was at the store GC. You know, he and I have known each other for a really, really long time. Monster guitar player, by the way. Great musician. Uh... You know, but he's been working for Two Notes for, uh, you know, for a number of years now. And even he has never sent me a free piece of gear of any kind whatsoever. None. Why? Because it'd be stupid for him to do so. The closest that, that, that that's, that's ever happened was, you know, he gave me a, you know, he gave me a, a pretty decent discount on a scratch and dent Two Notes Torpedo Live that I use out in the other room. You know, again, it was a scratch and dent model and, and uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't get any better deal than anybody else would have. Which is perfectly okay, but nobody is, no company is sending me, me or any other content creator on YouTube free gear out of the goodness of their heart. It ain't happening, and if you assume that it is, you have absolutely no idea how business works, and you really should go take a business class or something. Make sure the company doesn't get hurt. Well, you're a shill at that point. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, you know, allow me to play devil's advocate here for a second, because while I try to be honest in all my videos, and you know, and as you've seen recently, I point out stuff that is, you know, there's something glaring that I just simply can't ignore. You know, I'm obligated to point it out. You know, but here's the thing: as a content creator, you know, as somebody who does business with, you know, uh, you know, as a small business owner, essentially, what kind of reputation am I trying to build for myself? You know, because if I, if I, you know, nobody wants a reputation of, you know, of just constantly, you know, you know, constantly shitting on every single product that gets shipped out to me. You know, that's, you know, that ain't cool either. You know, at some point I've got to stop production and get in touch with the company and say, look, this is a very glaring problem and I'm going to be forced to say something uh, about this in my video. So either you guys need to fix it or that this is if this is a lemon You need to send me another one, whatever it may be, you know, whatever, you know, something like that And honestly, I debated with myself about that with the you know with the one me Wireless video, but you know the re you know, they were they wanted it released sooner than I was able to get it done and You know a number of reasons finally I just you know, I, and I emailed them and told them said, you know, these are the problems with it, but you know, I know you don't want me to release them, but at this point, I'm obligated to do so. But by the way, they're pissed. You know, they hate me now. They will never, ever reach out to me to do business with me ever again. That relationship has soured and gone, period. I still stand behind my opinion. They don't want, you know, companies don't want a bad review. Don't, don't make shit. Don't make a shitty product. You know, but at some point, as somebody who is constantly trying to build his business to be bigger and better all the time, this is any business would want to do. The most valuable thing that I have at my disposal is my reputation. And at some point, being honest, you know, even brutally honest, can cross over to being overly negative and, you know, potentially damaging to, uh, you, know, you know, to other companies to the point that they won't want to do business with me. You know, so if you, if, you know, so if you're getting into this for yourself and you honestly believe that paid shill bullshit, 
uh, you know, if you really want to see your business tank in a hurry, then by all means, do what you're suggesting that, that you do. But, you know, most of us find a balance, period. Why? Because it's a smart thing to do. So that's it. That's the last comment. This video turned out to be a lot longer than I expected it to be, but that's okay. I love doing these viewer comments videos because it gives me an opportunity to interact with you guys, which I don't, uh, I don't get a whole lot of opportunity to do elsewhere uh, these days. Uh, hopefully, I am going to start bringing back the live stream, uh, uh, some of the live stream stuff on Saturdays. You know, I scored a new camera lens for that particular camera that uh, you know I'm hoping might improve the, the quality of the live stream itself. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I'm going to try it out, and, uh, and I will let you guys know when, uh, when those start happening again. So comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on any of this stuff. And Happy New Year, everybody.